All right, guys, so if you guys didn't notice, there has been a lot of vampires being around inside of the arena right now. And this is going to be one of those comps right now, utilizing Wallberry as well as Hollowberry with Moonlight or Black Pearl, as well as Vampire with Pure Vanilla. And a lot of the defense teams are actually hiding Vampire as well as either Wildberry or Moonlight. And they are using this as a quote unquote kind of like a bait team to bait you guys in with the different team that is going to get countered uh, by this team thinking that it may be a three tank comp or things like that. So let's go over this comp real quick. But before I get started, I want to let you guys know this is not going to be better or stronger than the standard comps that we have going on right now. The ones that I've shared with you guys in the past like the oyster comp as well as the uh you know the standard moonlight comp with black pearl or sherbet or the frost comp but it is going to be a comp that you guys can utilize if you guys have vampire and you want to utilize him inside of the arena so let's go over the toppings real quick and it's going to be five of the solid almond for hollowberry hollowberry is going to be focusing directly on the damage resist and the higher cooldown you guys can get it around 7 to 8 percent the better it will be in order to protect your vampire as well as moonlight because right now you guys don't have fin and seer to actually uh provide any shield like that all right but however we do still have wildberry to provide that 15 percent damage resist to all of your cookies while he is using his skills so of course we do have five solid almond focusing on the damage resist for wildberry and i would say the attack speed is going to be beneficial but it's not going to be required as well as a cooldown it's okay, but you don't need to have it if you guys cannot. Definitely the most important one is going to be the damage resist. And the next one is going to be Moonlight. Moonlight is using 5 of the Swift Chocolate. The subsets that you guys need to focus on is going to be damage resist as well as a cooldown. I would say the best setting for the cooldown is going to be around 20 to 22%. Uh, it is going to definitely depend though because there's a lot of freeze as well as sleep going on. That is going to prevent your cooldown from actually uh, taking place. So sometimes, you know, the cooldowns can be messed up, but around 20 to 22% is where you guys would like to have it if you guys can. But of course, damage is going to be very important because we don't have financier protecting Moonlight. And the next one is going to be our Pure Vanilla. Pure Vanilla is using 5 solid almond with 8% cooldown here and focusing on the damage resist. You guys can use the 3 swift chocolate, 2 solid almond, or you guys can use the mixture build. But because there's a lot of vampires going on, as well as burst freeze comps going on with profit, Pure Vanilla does have a tendency to die off if you guys are not using full solid almond against those teams. So if you guys want to prevent that from happening, then 5 solid almond is going to be the way to go in order to protect your cookies with his skill. And that last one is going to be Vampire. Vampire has different settings here as well, guys. You guys can go with the 5 of the Syrian Raspberry with uh, cooldown depending on what you guys have. So you guys can go with 8% cooldown. You guys can go with less than 8%. Or you guys can even go with 0%. Just keep in mind that depending on the enemies you guys verse the result is going to be different because if the enemies have like a four second star moonlight or a three second star moonlight and the cooldown percentage is a little bit different with each of the uh, teams then sometimes vampire will attack moonlight sometimes vampire will attack pure vanilla who's going to be really tanky and you might just miss out on destroying the dps as soon as possible with vampire skill so just keep that in mind there is a tendency of vampire comp being a little bit up and down depending on some of the teams but majority of the time it is very good against a lot of the pure vanillas as well as moonlights and black pearls inside of the arena with the bleed debuff especially if they don't have monocle all right so five of the same raspberry is the way to go if you guys want to do the stand method or you guys can use the insignia method where you guys had at least 10.3 percent cooldown and have vampire use his skill a little bit faster that is also an option but it is going to be a bit harder to set up because you do need to have a swift chocolate and some solid almond if you guys want to kind of go with that kind of build but that is going to be the topic and the treasures are going to be scroll whistle as well as the jelly watch with of course whistle focusing on the vampire as well as moonlight so let's go into the arena right now guys and let me show you guys how well this team worked within the top masters of pure vanilla server so here we go guys this is probably going to be the triple tank comp here uh except they do have the uh, jelly watcher so i'm not too sure but you do see a pure vanilla there no monocle so vampire is going to be able to snipe that pure vanilla out let's go so they are using a purple yam as well as a financier with pure vanilla but you're gonna be able to see right there vampire is targeting that pure vanilla because pure vanilla is the only one uh, in the back right so right here we're gonna be able to uh do 100 percent crit right there uh and uh, hit the pure vanilla and the pure vanilla is gonna constantly be having that bleed debuff on him because there's no monocle right so it is going to take a little bit of time, but there you go. Pure Vanilla is gone. After that one minute mark, we were able to use the skill, time that perfectly. 
And this time around, it's going to be easier for us to time because of the fact that there is no sleep, there's no freeze or anything like that uh, preventing our cooldown. But here we go. We should be able to uh, kill off one of the uh, enemy tank here with the uh, yep, vampire's uh, skill. And then we should be able to you know, keep on uh, hitting them. 27 seconds left. Uh, we just need to kill them off uh, around the 10 second mark and pop the insignia in order to win here, guys. And there we go. We popped it. And by the uh, 10 seconds, uh, we should be good here and uh, kill off the Hollowberry, getting our victory. So a little bit easier this time around because they didn't have, uh, you know, Monocle. But there you go. Two seconds remaining. And you see Vampire just picking off that Pure Vanilla and completely getting rid of him as soon as possible right there. Only 3 million healing coming from Pure Vanilla because he died at that 1 minute mark. And there you guys go. Vampire is still doing about 3 million damage with the focus targeting right there. So not a bad team at all. Alright guys, so here we go. This is going to be the teams that you're going to be seeing a lot. And I've been seeing a lot of the defense comps like this right now. And it is because Vampire is pretty good against majority of the teams. But let's see how well we do against a mirror comp. And here we go. And you can see right there, it is going to be a mirror comp. And their Moonlight does use the skill. Uh, we're we're kind of using the skill at the uh, same time right there. Let's see uh, the skill cooldown of their Vampire as well. And it seems like it is pretty identical right there. But their Pure Vanilla did use the skill a little bit faster because of Hollowberry's stun. And it seems like Vampire skills are exactly the same. Right, we're dodging it. And there's our Pure Vanilla. Our Pure Vanilla skill is definitely uh, like a second uh, slower. Uh, right there, our Vampire did get to dodge, uh, which is really, really good because we got rid of their Moonlight. All right, so right there, that's the kind of thing that can happen depending on your cooldown, guys. So sometimes your cooldown will benefit you by, you know, having their enemy Moonlight use the skill first, you know, and then allowing our Vampire to target the uh, Moonlight afterwards. But sometimes, you know, it can happen. Sometimes it will go the other way and you will lose and their enemy vampire will kill you. But those are the things that can happen, of course, with the cooldown and a lot of variety of, uh, you know, skills being out there to prevent your cooldown from actually happening. And there you go. Moonlight doing 8 million damage right there. But vampire also still doing about 3 million, which is really, really good. Uh, focus targeting the back line. All right, guys, so this is the Oyster comp here with the uh, BTS as well as Moonlight, it seems like. So you guys can also use Vampire to pick off the uh, Moonlight as well as B uh, Oyster here. So let's go. So it's going to be really, really good for us here uh, to pick off the Oyster, getting rid of their main, uh, you know, the support with the uh, crit damage and crit uh, percentage. And of course, sometimes if, if it benefits you, then you might be able to go and target the uh, Moonlight as well as, uh, you know, the Black Pearl. But right there. You know, with Moonlight skill and uh, Vampire, the uh, Oyster was killed. And Vampire right there, now focusing the uh, Moonlight. And after that one minute mark, Moonlight literally got one-shotted. And we should be able to uh, easily pick off the rest. And of course, uh, something that I didn't mention earlier is that Moonlight does have that 25% extra damage uh, debuff onto the enemies as well, just like how Eclair does. So it does benefit Vampire in able to deal like an insane amount of nuke damage. To the enemies and there you guys go moonlight of course doing the most damage with the aoe but vampire not far behind even though he does focus damage with his skill so once again guys there's another team it seems like an oyster again let's go all right guys so i was a little wrong this time and they did have a profit but still not too much of a problem because vampire is going to be able to quickly uh get rid of the back lane uh, they are using the frost queen profit which is a little weird just because uh, there's no actual frost debuffs coming in from uh, the sherbet but there's still that frost it's gonna you know be applied every like couple seconds uh, with uh, profit but not too much of a problem uh, vampire did die right there and then the whistle buff came through healing all of our cookies all right and vampire did not get uh, frozen there black pearl is gone so that's a good thing and pure vanilla clutching it right there with the healing and we should be able to just, uh, yep, there you go. Yeah, Profit Cookie. I don't know about it uh, in a team that is not the triple freeze. But there you guys go. And once again, of course, Moonlight doing the most damage. And Vampire not far behind with his skill. Alright guys, so this one's going to be a standard double tank comp with double DPS. And it seems like it's going to be a single healer. Let's go and see how well we do. And it is going to be a Sherbet with Moonlight. 
right? So hopefully we are able to target that uh, Sherbet as soon as uh, we can with the Vampire and Moonlight here because we don't have the Monocle. They also don't have the Monocle either though because uh, they are using the Whistle. So we should be able to take advantage of some of the uh, Vampire 100% crit. All right, and here we go. Moonlight with the one minute mark now, All right? And we should be able to kill off their Pure Vanilla or... Actually, no. Uh, Pure Vanilla survived there, but Sherbet is dead. All right, and Pure Vanilla dead now. So there we go. And, uh, let's see. Uh, it seems like this Moonlight is dodging all the Vampire skill. So that definitely can be a problem sometimes, especially when you use the skill on the Moonlight and then, you know, Moonlight goes into her skill activation, then she's not going to take any Vampire damage. So things like that can happen as well, guys, where, you know, enemies, Black Pearl or Moonlight may, may just completely dodge Vampire skill. But there you guys go. All right, guys. So something that you guys might be asking is, hey, Hyrule, if I do verse this team inside of the arena, what can I try and use to counter it? Of course, you guys can use a freeze comp as well with the monocle in order to get rid of the, you know, weakness debuff to get rid of the bleeding debuff and things like that with the frost comp. It's going to be definitely uh, something that you guys can use or you guys can also use the right comp that I've shared with you guys previously as well in order to pick off their Moonlight and then also pick off their Vampire with Rise skill. And you guys can see a video of that right now. So I did verse a Vampire comp with the right comp and I was able to defeat them quickly getting rid of their Moonlight like I said. And then of course slowly getting rid of their Pure Vanilla as well as Vampire sometimes because of the fact that Vampire does dodge Rise skill. But the good thing about Rai Cookie is that Rai Cookie's skill will actually move on to the next target rather than going to a target that is going to be completely invisible. So that is a perk that Rai does have with her skill. But that is an option for you guys. And of course, Pinecone is able to target the Vampire and Moonlight as well to finish them off. So this is an option for you guys. Frost Comp is an option for you guys to deal with the Vampire. But it seems like the Vampire Comp is going to be another comp that's going to be added to the pool that a lot of people are going to use, especially if they have... Uh, vampire and once again you are able to replace moonlight with black pearl and black pearl will do a little bit better against monocle comps if they have it because if they do purify the terror from her skill then they're going to take extra damage as well so that is an option if you guys don't have moonlight but thank you guys for watching hope you guys found the video helpful and i'll see you guys all on the next one